Good morning, everybody. Welcome back, Bonnie here. And today we have a awesome short video about why exercising. So we talked about the wellness pyramid, right? So the bottom one was nutrition and we talked about eating healthy and then adding supplements and just adding the greens in and doing all the baby steps. The um, nutrition is the top like it's actually it's the bottom but it's like the biggest part of your wellness pyramid right so then the next one we have exercise so um first of all raise your hand if you are currently like using an exercise program or you created your own but if you're exercising regularly leave a comment i'd love to hear about it also what has your exercise experience been in the past have have you had any experiences that it helped you with um the way you view exercise um, one of the things, so like I said in the other videos, I I was a certified personal trainer. I'm not I'm not currently training anyone. That's not my goal, um, you know, for this season of my life. But I have worked with hundreds of women who are trying to get healthy, to lose weight, just to feel their best. And one of the biggest um, things that I keep hearing that I've heard over the time, you know, over the years, is that women specifically. Um, they view exercise as something that they should do or something that they have to do, or they're punishing themselves for something that they ate over the weekend or they ate, you know, the drive through or the donut or whatever. So now they're like, Oh, I have to do it. I should be doing this. And it's not coming from a place of like, I'm loving my body. I'm taking care of my body. I want to, you know, do the right things for it. So it comes at, a, at like in a form of punishment, like I need to do this, or I have to fit in a certain size clothing, or um, you're comparing yourselves to others or whatever it is. And so um, first I want to help everyone to view exercise. And one of the top things that we're doing in this series is loving yourself and loving your body. And one of the things that we talked about in the beginning is move like you love yourself, right? So let's view exercise and working out as like a movement out of love for our body right um i think when we shift that thinking is when we start enjoying what we're doing right and if we enjoy it we're going to continue to do it and it's something that we're going to love and and not feel like we're punishing ourselves or um hating every minute of the workout right because then you'll you will not you won't stay committed right because you hate it <laughs> um so that is that is one thing that I want to just focus on this week. If you guys are already working out and you already have an awesome program that you're doing and you're like in a good routine, awesome, keep doing that. Um, for everybody else, the challenge is to start something, right? Um, and so this might change um, depending on your season of life. So I have four kids and my workout plans have changed from going to the gym because that was what was best for me, where I went to the childcare and I dropped my kids off. And that's when I had my good workout. I did exercise programs or classes that I would pay for, or they were included in my membership. Um, or I've met with a trainer before, or I have done um, just cardio or machines on my own. I've also done walking with the stroller, just pushing the kids. And that was my workout. And that was you know, all I can get in. And sometimes it wasn't even the best of workout because I had other toddlers trying to like, you know, keep them safe as I'm walking or running. And, and for me and my, in that season of life that worked for me, um, I've done, um, so many different things where I've done running. I we've done, um, walking, I've done some, um, videos at home. So there's so many different things. And some of the times it was non-existent, right? And so those are the times where you don't feel as good about yourself, right? As far as energy and feeling good. And so um, again, the theme of this whole series is to feel good and to have that energy. And um, the best kind of exercise is the one that you do, right? And that's like the same thing we talked about, opening up the bottles of oils. Like you're not gonna get the benefits if you don't open them up and use them. And you're not gonna get the benefit of the supplements if you don't use them. Well, I don't need to go into all the benefits of exercise because we all know them, right? Um, but if you don't do it, then you're not gonna get any. So um, there's so many awesome, awesome programs out there, you guys. I really encourage you to kind of explore and find what works for you. If you want at-home videos, there's tons on YouTube, or you can buy them, or there's CrossFit, or there's yoga, or there's running outside. Like I'm actually dressed, I'm about to go running with 
Um, my neighbor, it's going to be my first time running. They invited me to their running club. They have um, a couple of women meet two times a week and they go running for three miles. So there I am going to go run with some neighbors and meet new friends because I've only met the one lady and the other ones I'm going to meet today. So it's a great way to also come together and meet new people. Um, at my old house, we did a running club on Saturdays where we, we met and my husband joined me and we did that. Um, you got to find what works for you. So my, my, my workouts are constantly changing depending on my season of life. Um, lately, since the fall, I started doing a workout called Soul Core. It's like a, sorry, I got like something in my eye. Um, it's a workout that I do from home that I do. It's like a yoga, but also includes prayer and meditation. And so for me, that was the best at the time. I think I have like I put a small bit of makeup on for you for the video <laughs> or did I think I got some in my eye um, normally I when I before I work out I have no makeup on so I just did the small amount just so I look a little bit better <laughs> than when I first woke up um, okay so some of the some of the quotes that I put together for our group and I think I said this one in the beginning but this is a really good quote by Jim Rome take care of your body, it's the only place you have to live, right? So important, it doesn't matter what age you are, you know, you, it is, if you don't start now, when you get older, you're gonna regret it and wish that you were more consistent right now. Also, the other thing that I'm finding is that it's so important um, for me as a mom, like I have a daughter and three boys, and I just want them to see me being active and healthy. In our home, we don't talk about weight. We don't talk about weight loss or the way we fit in clothes or any of that kind of stuff because my daughter's 12 and I'm like, I just don't want that mentality. Like we're not working out to lose weight or to, because we don't feel good about ourselves. We are working out because we love ourselves and because we want to feel good. We want to be healthy, strong bones, strong muscles, you know, and, and so when we are the examples to our family and to our kids, they're going to pick up those healthy habits. And that's the same thing that when we're talking about food and health with our family, they're like very, very involved with the health, but we, we don't say things like, oh, we're not going to eat sugar because it's going to make you gain weight or any of that kind of stuff. Um, it's all about feeding the body that God gave us and keeping it healthy and taking care of it and being the best versions of ourselves. I'm a huge believer in that. Um, exercise is to the body what, you know, reading is to the mind and prayer is to the spirit. You know, I feel like it's the whole thing. So um, just keep that in mind when you're talking to your family, but also to yourself, right? Because what you tell yourself comes out. And so again, we're looking at the place of love versus, um, you know, hate or <laughs> guilt or shame or uh, judgment, right? Um, so another good quote that I found was, to enjoy the glow of good health, you must exercise. I just thought that was great because we all want to be glowing and feeling like really awesome. Um, another quote was, for me, fitness is not about hitting the gym. It's also about inner happiness and overall well-being. And raise your hand if you are like happier when you work out. So for me, I'm like, <laughs> I want to say um, night and day difference, especially when I do something that involves um, like my prayer and, and meditation. I'm just like normal versus maybe irritable or something like that. Um, and then the last quote, I'll just say it again. Um, move like you love yourself. Okay. We're just trying to take care of ourselves and remember we're all just trying to be the best versions of ourselves. So don't compare yourself to anybody else. The best program is the one that you like and the one that you stick to. That is it. I'm going to post some um, top links for workouts that you guys can find um, and different programs. Some of them are free right online just to get you going. But I'd love to hear what workouts are working for you and what makes you feel good. All right. I will talk to you later. Bye.